morning everybody it's joe here i'm just out for a walk in the local park with my two sons who are playing down by the river currently trying to relocate every stone in said park into the river so i thought i'd just step back a little and give them a bit of independence when it comes to playing down there but i also thought i'd take this moment to share with you some tips i use with my kids to help them feel a little bit more safer and a little bit more confident outside i've been making some videos for instagram tv about some steps that we guys can take when we're outside before we leave the house to help affect emergency situations and stuff like that and I wanted to share with you guys a technique or some techniques I've learned from different forest schools and places around there because when you start bringing children out into the woods and I'm no child behavioral psychologist just talking as a parent of two boys is that you really want to reassure them that they are safe when they are outside and also some indirect learning in the process one of the things that I do is I put a high-vis vest on them. Might seem a bit overkill, especially if you're only going down the local park. My oldest boy doesn't wear his uh, high-vis vest anymore, but my younger fella, who's a bit of a wanderer, has to stay wearing his high-vis vest. But this is a cool one, not just to give you a bit of safety, but to also give them a bit of safety. Um, green or orange, this was free at a road safety campaign in my son's school, so again, it doesn't have to break the bank, but it allows you just to, to let them wander on a little bit further so you can still see them. Secondly, and I couldn't pry them from my children's hands because they love playing with them down by the river, is their whistles. I have a, a both of them have a set of high decibel C whistles that you would use on boats, and I've shown them how to do SOS. And the youngest guy at the moment, I'm trying to teach him how to play the Fireman Sam theme tune. Again, nothing too serious. You just want them to feel confident when they're outside. I'll give you an example. My oldest guy, when we were out walking one time, needed to step off trail just to use the bathroom. He had his high vis vest on but I could still see him, but he couldn't see me. So he panicked a little, he took out his whistle, he blew on it a couple of times in a very crude attempt at the SOS, but it meant that I walked into the woods and found him and reaffirmed that these systems are in place for a reason. And ever since then, he's been that little bit more confident just to go that little bit further when he's out on the trail. The second technique I wanted to talk about is a technique I learned in Sweden at a forest school called tree hugging, or loosely translated to tree hugging. And it is a technique to teach your children if in case the worst scenario does tend to happen and if they do wonder a little bit further and you can't visually see them and they can't visually see you so when it comes to children you need them to stay put unlike adults where you kind of it can assess the situation and you want them to go you want your your child or your children to stay as stationary as possible so you can go and find them most children, um, especially young children, when they're afraid, they will grab onto your leg or they'll hug your thigh and stuff like that. And it's a feeling of comfort. So the first thing that you want to teach them is to find a big tree or any tree, stop and stay put and give the tree a hug. Count to 30, count to 40, whatever the child can manage at the time, just to kind of calm their inner self down so they can hug the tree and be safe. The next thing you want to do is to try and keep them there and stay focused. So encourage them to walk a few paces from the tree and pick up some debris from the ground. High vis bottles like the Mountain Dew ones are a great example, or beer cans, plastic bags, trash bags, anything, and to start to decorate the tree. And again, this is more just a technique, it'll make them more visible, but it'll also keep them stationary. They can take their high vis vest off. I teach my sons to use it as a flag, so to break a stick on the ground and start waving it, or they can hang it in the tree as well. Again, just making themselves that bit more visible. In my son's kits, they have ferro rods and they also have flashlights. Again, this is just something that we mess around with when we're outside. But you can teach your child that if they are stationary and they've hugged the tree and they've calmed down for a few minutes and they've started to decorate it, that just again, to keep their mind occupied, they can take their ferro rod and their striker out and start sending sparks as an emergency signal. Or they can take their torch out and use it in SOS mode or put it into a strobe mode if it has it so that people can see them doing what they are doing and sending out a signal. Again, they're all just small precautionary things and you can do so much more around this, but it's a great technique to teach your kids just to have that bit more confidence. And it's a fun few hours in the woods and they are learning indirectly about emergency scenarios and how to manage inside and stuff like that. Run some fake exercises if you want where they can decorate the trees and stuff. I know that I've um, been out with my son a couple of times and it's one of his favorite things to do, but he's learning indirectly and building his confidence outside. Plus it's also a great thing for you as a parent to know that if your child in reality is only going to wonder maybe a couple of hundred feet from where you are and has the know-how to stay still, stay calm and be found. 
So again, tree hugging, a great technique that I learned in the forest schools of Scandinavia and some things and some little things that you can do when you're out and about with your kids to help them stay safe and feel confident in the woods. I'm gonna go back down there now and annoy the hell out of my own two kids by ruining their day because their uncool dad wants to throw stones in the river. I hope you have a great day and a good time out in the woods. And as always, like everything, stay safe. Peace.